You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. Anyone who's been on immune therapy has probably heard of pseudoprogression. What pseudoprogression is, is when um, a, a person gets immunotherapy, uh, what happens is these immune cells start copying themselves and rapidly reproducing inside of the tumor. And in some patients, uh, that can cause the tumors to look a lot bigger. And so um, the immune cells are inside of the tumor, they're killing the tumor, um, and they're uh, destroying it from the inside out, but they're causing it to look a lot bigger. And so when you do a CT scan or an x-ray or something, it actually looks like the tumor's bigger and you're not responding to the drugs. And so this happens in about 30% of patients on immune therapy, and it's called pseudoprogression. Um, and so the problem with pseudoprogression, and it's still a problem to this day, is uh, in, when, when, when they first came out with immune therapy drugs, uh, doctors would see this, and then it would also see new tumors popping up. And so the problem with imaging is that you can't necessarily see a tumor that's really small. However, when you have that tumor expand due to immune, immune cells entering it, then all of a sudden it becomes visible. And so what was happening in these patients who got pseudoprogression is their tumors would look bigger and all of a sudden a bunch of new tumors would show up that were too small to be seen previously. And so the doctors would say, oh, you're not responding. You got new tumors and your other tumors are bigger. We're taking you off the drug. And then two years later, these patients would come back to the doctors and say, hey, uh, I'm still alive. I, I feel great. You know, what's going on? And the doctors would say, wow, I thought you'd be dead. I thought you were going to enter, you know, palliative care. So doctors don't know how to determine whether a patient has pseudoprogression or real progression. And there's no real tool to determine that. Um, if you get a PET CT, because the immune cells are using the same uh, sugars and the same um, things that the cancer cells use to grow, then your tumors are gonna look hot. Even though they're actually being attacked by the immune system, they're gonna actually look like they're active on a PET CT scan. Uh, because once again, um, immune cells drink up sugars and PET CT is a sugar-based assay. So, um, you can, you can look like you have a very active tumor, you have high SUV, but really it's a dead tumor and it's your immune cells that are causing the SUV activity. So the beauty of the liquid biopsy is it can actually tell whether you have pseudoprogression because you won't have any more cancer cells releasing exosomes. Um, and that's the way to determine whether you have pseudoprogression or not. Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.